morning children well into this class of english language we shall take up the eighth and the last parts of speech that is intersection okay well uh, as you know that in the last couple of classes we have been doing a parts of speech series where we have covered all seven parts of speech and today we shall do the lesson intersection okay so uh, I, as i was uh, getting some messages saying that many of you have missed the uh, video lessons uh, related to some of the topics but doesn't matter you can always uh, log into the school's official youtube channel where you will find all the uh, link related to the lesson okay so let's get started then first intersection what is an intersection then well an intersection is a word that is used to express the sentiment of a speaker or a certain emotions like joy sorrow uh, surprise excitement enthusiasm uh, disgust approval etc okay now in a simple language uh, an intersection uh, is a word that that you know that uh, shows your spontaneous feeling or an emotion okay uh, like for example when you are very happy what do you say uh, say for example or uh, hooray or if you see something very nice what do you say wow if you are very sad or if, if someone is very if something un, you know uh, sad the uh, incidents have happened then what do you say alas isn't it so this kind of words like you know hooray wow alas these kinds of words are called what interjection okay now we will see the different types of interjection but before we go to see the different types of interjection there are some tiny you know tiny little points that we have to keep in mind uh, while placing the interjection and all right now what is it then let's find out see uh, mostly uh, you know uh, interjection uh, words interjections are used at the beginning of the sentences see i'm saying mostly not always I'm not saying always, like mostly uh, interjections like wow, ure, whatever I said, these kinds of words are usually used in front of the or in the beginning of the sentence. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, when you use an interjection, an interjection is always followed either by a comma or an exclamation mark. Understood. So these are little uh, tiny uh, uh, tips that you have to remember while doing an uh, exercise on intersection. Okay. Now we will see the different types of intersection. Okay. The first one. What is the first type of intersection then? Well, the first one is intersection for greeting. Okay. Now what is it? First, let's see the definition. Uh, intersection for greeting is used to indicate the uh, emotion of warmth towards the other person when they meet. Okay. Now see, uh, when you meet someone, or uh, you know, when you meet uh, when you meet someone, or uh, you know, uh, what do you say? Like. Uh, or like how do you express your uh, how do you greet someone rather what do you like for example uh, hello i am mr i you say isn't it or say for example you meet someone uh, you know whom you had not expected to meet at that particular point of time for example okay say you are going to a party okay you are going for a party and you meet someone unexpectedly then uh, well, how would you express that you know like uh, saying that hey i had not expected to meet you in the party like that no isn't it so uh, you know the intersection of greeting is used to when is it used it is used to indicate the emotion of warmth towards other person when you meet okay now for example as i said just now for example the uh, with the help of an animation let's see number 1 hello i am mr i see you are you are greeting someone, no? Hello, I'm Mr. I. Understood? Or, or say uh, one more example. Hey, nice to see you here in the party. Sometimes, you know, unexpectedly I said someone uh, you had not expected to come in the party. You meet, then you express that, no? Warmth, okay? You greet someone, say, hey, nice to see you in the party welcome isn't it so these kind of words you know these kind of words like hello hey these kind of words are uh, intersection for greeting someone or expressing the warmth or whatever when you meet understood okay so that is the uh, that is the uh, intersection for greeting now let us see uh, the next intersection that is intersection for joy 
Okay, what is that then? Let's see the definition. Intersection for joy is used to show feeling of happiness and excite excitement. Obviously, the word joy, the moment you hear the word joy, what comes in your mind? Obviously, it comes what? Happiness, excitement, isn't it? So, intersection, uh, you know, the intersection, as I said, these are the words, okay, which is used to express what? The, the feeling or to express or to show the feeling of joy or happiness okay uh, like let us see uh, let us try to understand this with the help of an example see the first example hooray our school has won the football match so the word hooray in this sentence the, the word hooray in this sentence expresses your what excitement happiness isn't it okay uh, that your school has won the match football match okay you understood so the word hooray is an intersection for joy okay so one more example uh, wow that's a good news suppose somebody gives you a very good news okay like uh, say you have passed the examination or something like that okay so how would you ex how would you express that feeling so, wow, wow that's a good news isn't it so the word wow, wow. is an intersection uh, which shows your feeling of happiness or an excitement understood so the intersections like wow, wow. Uh, hooray uh, intersection for joy all right okay now now let us see the next uh, uh, type of intersection that is uh, intersection for approval and praise okay now let's see what it is then well intersection for approval uh, and praise is used to express the strong sense of approval or an agreement on something okay now such kind of uh, you know such kind of uh, intersection is used to say for example uh, uh, you know uh, express their praise to praise someone understood all right uh, say uh, okay let's see an example with the help of an example let's try to understand what it is then first well done you deserve this somebody for example has done a praiseworthy thing for example say uh, Yes, uh, he's got a promotion, for example. Maybe, uh, you know, a person has got a promotion. Then how will you uh, express your, you know, uh, happiness for him or how will you praise him? How will you praise him? So, you know, mostly what do we do when somebody has uh, uh, achieved something, okay? To celebrate his achievement or to make him happy, what do you say? say well done, you deserve this. If somebody, uh, you know, to, to, you know, praise him on his achievement what do you say well done you deserve this isn't it okay so the word well done is an intersection for approval or what praise to praise someone okay otherwise or one more example say uh, bravo you did a great job say someone has achieved to do something or say uh, he has succeeded in doing some uh, important work or say that uh, you know when someone has succeeded in doing something or, or someone has achieved something that is a feather on his cap no feather on his cap means that is something praiseworthy isn't it so how will you praise or how will you uh, show a sort of a, you know uh, uh, approval or uh, agreement saying that you have done very good how will you express that? You will say, okay, bravo, you did a great job. You know, something like that. So, the words like, well done, bravo, these kind of words or these kind of intersections are intersections for approval and praises. Okay, right. So, next type of intersection is intersection for attention. Now, what it is, let's see. Uh, uh, intersection of attention is usually used to draw the attention of someone. Draw the attention of someone means to seek or to get attention of someone. Okay. Uh, say for example, see, uh, there's a lot of noise going in the class. Okay. There's a lot of noise. For example, I'm talking about the classroom situation. Say for example, there's a lot of noise going to the class. What does the teacher say? Come to the class. The teacher comes to the class and says, what? Listen! First the teacher says, listen! Don't make noise! Isn't it? So, the word listen is what? The teacher is trying to seek the attention of the children, no? By saying, listen! 
when the teacher says listen everybody looks at the teacher no so what the word listen attracts the attention of the student in the class right so this kind of word you know listen uh, see in this sentence i'm saying listen don't make noise so the word listen is what is an interse uh, intersection for attention the word which is used to seek the attention of someone towards you okay one more example look the captain is coming okay yeah i'm talking about the captain of the ship you know the uh, captain of the ship or someone okay you want someone to say look the captain is coming when i say look okay we are not only me I, anyone if anyone say look that means but the moment you say look you you know you get the attention of every everyone whoever is there you no know? so you are they will be look at you they say look the captain is coming so the word like listen look are uh, intersection which is used to seek or get attention of someone towards you or towards what you are saying okay so uh, that's an interse uh, intersection for attention now the next intersection is intersection for surprise now what it is then look okay intersection for surprise is used to express a feeling or a strong sense of being uh, surprised okay once again i repeat the definition intersection for surprise is used to express a feeling or a strong sense of being surprised okay now see uh usually what happens is that uh, not only the uh, you know intersection for surprises but uh, usually intersections are used uh, not intentionally you don't use intentionally you know, you know uh, any intersection any type of intersection i'm talking about right now you don't use it intentionally you know uh it comes it you know it comes fortunately isn't it it comes uh you know all of a sudden okay like for example i told you you know uh, that uh, uh okay with the with reference to this on the abridgment uh, uh, intersection for surprise with the reference to this i'll give an example okay say for example ah i got a job when i say ah i got a job say for example uh i go for an uh, interview and then after an interview uh, after a couple of hours the interviewer calls me and said you got a job isn't it then when you come out and then you and that you don't think no i have to say ah or who out you don't think that it comes spontaneously isn't it so ah i got a job so the word ah is what it is an intersection for surprise when you are surprised such kind of intersection automatically comes to you isn't it or let's take one more example there hey, uh, okay hey i can't believe you are right here with me okay say for example you have uh, Uh, call you know uh, someone whom you had not expected had, has suddenly come there to you or you know with you to I mean uh, to meet you or someone you know something like that to meet you or uh, to uh, attend uh, say a party or whatever you have at home say this is an imagination anything you can imagine someone is there. and then all of a sudden you see he or she there then what do you say unexpectedly he or she has dropped there then what do you say hey i can't believe that you are here with me isn't it so the word hey comes automatically there you don't think that i had to say this isn't it it comes because you are surprised you are you know uh, that you know uh, this you know this words which i said are hey this intersections are used to express the what a strong sense of being surprised it comes spontaneously isn't it so such words are called or such intersections are called intersections for surprise when you when you want to express your uh, strong sense of being surprised okay all right so the next uh, uh, intersection is intersection for sorrow or a pain what is it let's see a uh, intersection for sorrow or a pain uh, is used to express a strong emotions of grief uh, on something unfortunate that has happened okay grief or uh, something unfortunate that has happened means say for example 
uh, suddenly someone has fallen uh, you know fallen sick or someone has expired and all you know these are some uh, you know uh, unfortunate incidences that we are talking about uh, when we talk about pain grief and all so uh, say for example uh, you fall down and uh, sprain your ankle okay for example you fall down and sprain your ankle then what do you say I sprained my ankle, isn't it? Ouch! I sprained my ankle. So the word ouch is an intersection for what? For expressing sorrow or a pain. Here it is not sorrow, here it is pain. Ouch! I have sprained my ankle. Say while playing or while, uh, you know, running or whatever, you just happen to, you know, trip trip down and then you uh, you know hurt your ankle or sprain your ankle okay so what do you say ouch i have sprained my ankle so the word ouch is an intersection which is used to uh, you know which is used to express the pain okay or one more example alas his grandfather is no more that means his grandfather is dead isn't it so the word alas the moment you say alas that is quick that immediately associates with you with the uh, you know something unfortunate sorrowful thing had happened isn't it so the words like ouch alas oh you know this sort of words are uh, intersection that is that are used to express sorrow or a pain okay right so the next intersection is uh, intersection for expressing doubt or hesitation let's find out what this is uh, well, uh, intersection for expressing doubt or a sorrow is used by a speaker when he or she is not sure, uh, you know, not sure or unsure uh, and thinking about what to say next. Understood? So, uh, intersection for expressing doubt or a sorrow, uh, such intersection you use. When do you use? When you are not sure of what to say next or when you are thinking of what to say next. Okay, let's see an example. Well, for example, uh, say for example, uh, you are in the classroom of 40 students and you are in one corner, in another corner, something happened, you don't know, say uh, some sort of quarrel or something like that. Okay, you are not aware. Okay, but you, you know something happened, but you are not aware. Then suddenly the teacher comes and asks you, okay, what's going on? What happened? Then you will not be able to tell what happened because you are not sure what happened. You, you, your, your seat is in some, you know, in the first corner somewhere, and something happened in the last corner there. So what will you say? You will not instantly. You will not be able to say something. Obviously, you will say, mm, "I am not sure what happened," or uh, you know, uh, "I am really not sure what happened there." You say something like that, isn't it? So uh, the word like mm, and all. You know, this kind of word, this kind of uh, intersection expresses your doubt or hesitation to say some, you know, to say or express something which you are not sure about, isn't it? So such kind of intersection are, uh, are called what? Intersection for doubt or hesitation, okay? Okay, the next, the next is uh, intersection for express calling, express calling, okay, what is it? Let's find out first. Intersection for express calling is used when you want to call someone for some reason. Okay, very often, uh, you know, uh, we we have to use this intersection, but many of us don't use this, you know, intersection. See, uh, you want to call someone towards you for something for some reason. How will you call? How will you call? Someone is there, and you know, uh, very often we scream the name of that person and call, isn't it? Isn't it? Very often, what we do, say your friend is there and you want him or her to come to you for some reason. What do you, how do you call? Literally, you call out his name, you know, you literally you scream his name and call, right? But that's not the, the right, that's not the right thing to, you know, right way to call, in fact. Okay, so there are some intersections like when you're hurt, you say ouch, when you're happy, you say wow, when you're sad, you say alas, isn't it? So, similarly, to express, uh, you know, to express calling also, there are some intersection. Okay, like for example, look at the sentence there. Say for example, uh, you want a lift. Okay, you want you are standing by the roadside and you want a lift from someone. 
Okay, so a car is passing by. So how will you ask a lift? Okay, I know how we'll ask a lift, but the right way is, how will you say? Hello, can you please uh, give me a lift? Isn't it? Hello, can you please give me a lift? That's the right way of asking a lift, isn't it? So the word hello, isn't it the word hello? What is it? It is the intersection expressing calling you're calling someone say otherwise or, or you say hello there will you please come here you know so this is how you use this word uh, the uh, rather intersection for calling someone understood so this is intersection for calling right so the last type of intersection that we'll study in this class today is intersection for bidding farewell Farewell means what? Saying bye bye or goodbye, isn't it? Farewell means what? What? Saying bye bye or goodbye, isn't it? So, what is an intersection uh, for bidding uh, farewell then? Uh, intersection for bidding farewell is used by the speaker to bid farewell or to say goodbye. So, intersection uh, for what is it? For bidding farewell is usually used, as I said previously, to say goodbye or bye bye to someone. Okay. For example. Look at the sentence running there. Uh, say you are going to an airport uh, to see off someone. Someone is going away. Okay? For some reason. And you want to, uh, you, 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 you are going to the airport to see off him or her. So, how will you bid, bid goodbye to her or him? Usually you say, no? Goodbye. Have a safe journey. Isn't it? Goodbye. Have a safe journey. So, the word goodbye is what? Uh, it is an intersection for bidding farewell or you may say uh, or say for example you are uh, with your friends okay you are with your friends uh, busy conversing or chatting or talking to each other and it's five o'clock in the evening now you have to go home then how will you bid, go, you know bid goodbye to your friend what will you say you obviously you say bye i have to leave now isn't it bye i have to leave now so the word by in this sentence is an intersection uh, for bidding farewell. So the words or intersections that goodbye or by are intersection for saying bye bye or goodbye or farewell. Okay. So uh, this is all for the types of uh, intersection here. Yeah, we studied about intersection and the different types of uh, intersection. Um, this is all in the parts of speech series we've done. Uh, in fact, we have covered all the eight parts of speech, okay? And uh, uh, see you in the next class where we are going to talk about or we are going to uh, study about uh, uh, tenses, okay? So, till then, uh, stay connected and stay safe.